Well, tax day is on April 15th. It may seem like a long way off, but with a little planning before the end of the year, you could actually lower your tax bill. KZI 9 News reporter Grace Lim is right here in the studio to explain it all. Grace, good morning. Good morning, Bob. 55 tax breaks are scheduled to expire at the end of this year, so you want to act fast to reap some of those savings. Here are some to consider now before they disappear in 2014. For homeowners, if your principal residence is foreclosed on or sold in a short sale before the end of the year, this is your last chance to exclude the forgiven debt from your taxable income. Also, if you make qualified energy efficient improvements to your home by December 31st, there is a lifetime maximum of $500 credit. We don't even need the receipts. We just need the summarized information for you to tell us, here's how much I spent on charitable contributions, for example, and here's how much I spent on my medical expenses, for example, and things like that. And if they just give us the sum, then that's easier and it, and it helps us and, uh, and it helps their tax bill. Now, when it comes to transportation, employees can spend up to $245 pre-tax per month on transit benefits. That will drop to $130 when it expires. Also, if you're in the market for a car, consider an electric one. You may be eligible for a tax credit of up to $7,500. But the clock is ticking. Investing some time to size up your tax situation can lower your tax bill come April 15th. Now, coming up in the next half hour, I'll have more tax credits on the chopping block that could affect you. In the studio, Grace Slim, KEZ. CI 9 News.